Hello again to all you fragrance aficionados out there and welcome back to Mags Frags where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Over the next week or so we're going to be going on an extravagant journey to the far corners of the perfumery world and I'm going to be taking a look at seven niche fragrances from your smaller independent boutiques that you may or you may not have come across before. So to kick things off today we're exploring a scent that's as mysterious as its name suggests. This is called Kill the Lights and it's by esteemed Italian fragrance house Gritti Venetia who were a family run business and led by Luca Gritti, uh, the, the rebel of uh, niche perfumery who is the creative nose behind these strong, bold and unique scents that often unapologetically bend the rules and just dare to be different. This one is part of the Ivy collection but there's also six other different collections to discover on the brand's website so there's tons of different and unique scents to discover. But this particular one was launched in 2023 and it's an aromatic leather based fragrance for men and women. It comes in an uh, extra de parfum concentration which basically means it's pure perfume and this 100ml size bottle is priced at €245 Euros, so around about £209 but you can also pick up a, a four bottle discovery set from the Grit, uh, Gritty Venetia website uh, if you just find it a bit too difficult to find a copy of it to uh, sample locally. Okay, so into the presentation and unfortunately I don't have the original box to show you but it does come in a very elegant purple and black uh, colourway with a, a velvety texture and it features some gold uh, metallic branding. It looks really, really high class and feels really premium too. The bottle itself is a, a thing of beauty and it comes in this gorgeous translucent purple glass with gold detailing. All gritty uh, fragrances come with this quirky design aesthetic where the narrow side of the bottle is actually the uh, the front and that's where you'll find the name of the fragrance etched into this square gold coloured plaque as well as the name of the house printed in gold. On top of the uh, this gold coloured metal cap is an almost regal looking gritty logo uh, which is stamped into it and the cap itself is uh, a click on style which is very very weighty and the whole thing just feels uh, really premium when you're handling it. You get a gold atomizer, which delivers uh, a really nice, short, punchy blast of juice. And in terms of presentation, you definitely get uh, what you pay for with this one. It feels really special and, an exp and, and kind of expensive when you're holding it. And it just provides an excellent first impression and uh, an all round great user experience. Okay, so into the note breakdown and the top notes in this are Davana, Juniper and Artemisia. In the heart, we've got leather, hay, and pink pepper. And the base notes are birch tar, lentisk, and guayaquad. Okay, so this one opens up with a trio of crisp, herbaceous top notes alongside an instant hit of the leather that instantly comes through from the heart of the scent. And from the first initial spray, it's unlike any other leather dominant fragrance that I think I've ever smelled before. Usually you get sweeter accords that kind of complement and blend with the leather like raspberry or vanilla or maybe even some powdery florals etc. But with this one you get this fresh sharp and slightly bitter herbaceous accord that just floats over the top of it as well as a, a bit of a mild spicy kick. It's a bold introduction that's definitely on the edgy and rebellious side. The leather in this one is not like a, a new leather smell that you'd find in the interior of a luxury sports car. But instead, this is more like smelling a well-worn biker jacket that's been stuck under a bush outside for a couple of months and it's just been covered in leaves and soil. I appreciate that may sound a little bit crazy, but uh, that's exactly what you get from this one. Although it doesn't smell off-putting or anything like that. It just kind of makes you sit up and uh, take notice of it because it's something that you probably won't have come across before. The uh, quirky introduction really grabs your attention and it is more on the complex and challenging side but boy is it interesting and uh, it's actually quite intoxicating and addictive and you just find yourself wanting to keep going in for uh, another sniff. As it dries down you'll notice some smokiness from the birch tar note, uh, some w mild woodiness from the gaia quad and also a small amount of ambery sweetness from that lentisk, uh, which is like a resin. Uh, but this is all about that main balsamic leather accord, albeit with a, a very unique twist. It's a fairly dark and moody smelling scent with a mysterious allure to it, uh, hence the name Kill the Lights. Kill 
Yeah, this is without doubt a cold weather or a, a night out scent. Its rich, powerful character leaves a scent trail of intrigue and sophistication, uh, which is going to demand loads of attention. So you are going to uh, need to have a bit of confidence about you to really pull this one off. I'd say that it leans far more masculine than it does feminine in my opinion, uh, but it's one of those darker, sexier fragrances that women will really enjoy smelling on guys, but maybe not to wear themselves. You could wear it dressed up for a formal event, uh, but I'd be more likely to reach for this if I was just wearing a denim jacket or a leather jacket, but still heading out for a night out around town. In terms of age range, I think it's uh, probably better suited to over 30s uh, because it does have more of a mature presence about it, uh, and I can't see many younger guys really going for this one. You also need to have a, a decent amount of experience with niche perf uh, perfumery uh, to be able to kind of fully appreciate its complexity and what it's all about. Yeah, the performance on this is absolutely mega and just a couple of sprays is all you need to leave a massive scent trail that will last easily a good 9-10 to 10 hours. Leather fragrances tend to cut through the air more than most other fragrance genres anyway, uh, but this combined with that aromatic crispness just takes it to another level. It definitely could uh, be massively overbearing if you go too heavy on the sprays or you wear it in the wrong situation etc, uh, but if it's attention that you're after, this is definitely not going to disappoint you or let you down. Okay, so Kill the Lights by Gritty Venetia is packed with character and it's a fragrance that challenges and delights in equal measures. It dares to be different and its creative and artistic aroma is suited for the daring individuals out there who command the night and who aren't afraid to really put themselves out there. It's not, and I repeat not, a blind buy scent, and it may be uh, a bit too complex for some of you out there, but for anyone who's deep into the fragrance journey and just wants to go even deeper, uh, then this allows you to put on your oxygen tank and dive straight down to the bottom of the ocean floor. It's a rebellious masterpiece with tons of attitude and plenty of contemporary style, and uh, one that you definitely need to try out for yourself. Okay, so that's about it for this first little indie brand niche fragrance review, uh, but don't forget over the next few days, I'll be talking about another six superb scents from independent fragrance houses that kind of tend to fly under the radar, and not all of them are super expensive either. Uh, some of them are around about the price that you pay for some designer brands, uh, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and that way you won't miss any of my future uploads, and you may even uh, be introduced to your next perfect signature scent. Also, it is always great to read your comments, so if you have tried this one, then uh, don't forget to let me know down in the comments section what you thought of it. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in today. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you in the next day or two for another one. Bye-bye for now.